Use a Torx screwdriver to rotate the microprocessor locking screw into the unlocked position. Grasp the edges of the microprocessor and lift it out from the microprocessor socket. Align the microprocessor with the microprocessor socket using the corners marked with a triangle. Lower the microprocessor into the socket. Use a torque screwdriver to rotate the screw into the locked position. Using the flat edge of a non-metallic pry tool, push the keyboard frame up to reveal the screws. Loosen the six captive screws. Lift the back of the keyboard out of the frame and turn it over to access the keyboard and track point cables. Gently peel back the rubber cover and disconnect the cables. Attach the keyboard and track point cables to the system board. Replace the rubber cover over the opening. Turn the keyboard over and insert the front edge of the keyboard under the frame of the keyboard bezel. Fasten the six captive screws. Using the flat edge of a non-metallic pry tool, slide the keyboard frame down to cover the screws. Disconnect the fingerprint reader cable from the system board. Remove the seven long retaining screws. Remove the five short retaining screws. Turn the computer over and open the cover. Disconnect the trackpad cable from the system board. Using the flat edge of a non-metallic pry tool, gently pry the fingerprint reader cable from the base cover assembly. Gently pry the edge of the keyboard bezel up to unsnap the clips. Lift the keyboard bezel from the chassis. Insert the keyboard bezel under the LCD panel and align the bezel with the chassis. Snap the clips around the edge until they are all seated firmly into place. Insert the fingerprint reader cable through the opening in the chassis and use the tape and adhesive to hold it in place. Connect the trackpad cable to the system board. Close the LCD panel and turn the system over. Replace the seven long retaining screws. 
Replace the five short retaining screws. Connect the fingerprint reader cable to the system board. Remove the two retaining screws. Turn the system over and remove the four retaining screws. Lift the system board from the base cover assembly. Align the system board with the posts on the base cover assembly. Install the four retaining screws. Turn the unit over and install the two retaining screws. Remove the single retaining screw. Slide the fingerprint reader clip to the unlocked position and remove it. Lift the fingerprint reader out of the plastic clips and remove it from the keyboard bezel. Align the fingerprint reader with the clips and posts on the keyboard bezel and snap it into position. Place the fingerprint reader clip over the fingerprint reader and slide it into the locked position. Install the single retaining screw.